I'm Brett Bonat. I'm 37 years old and I moved to Manchester in 2010. After kind of feeling pretty isolated by the experience that I had in Massachusetts, I heard about the Free State Project on Free Talk Live. I joined almost immediately as soon as I heard about it. I would say my fullest effort has been put into the School Sucks podcast, which uh, I began in 2009, but it really took off once uh, I started connecting with people here. And I basically was taking my experience from about 10 years at that time of working in education in and around private schools, public schools, and uh, first doing it kind of like therapy. Uh, I had all this stuff I wanted to get out and never had any place for it to go because you can't say those things in school meetings. I had been here maybe just a couple of months and I wound up connecting with an activist in Dover uh, who wrote to me and said, hey, you're uh, right down the road from me and I'd like to do free web design and web development work for you. We went, we met, he was like one of my first Free State friends and we worked together for a couple of years. The goal with the School Sucks Project is really to make a distinction between schooling and education. There's a lot of people who think they're the same thing. So we try to find as many unique ways as possible to point that out to people. What is real education versus what is schooling? And we want to let people know that they have options for real education, uh, whether it's homeschool co-ops or complete unschooling or all kinds of uh, resources for self-teaching. The best thing for me about moving to New Hampshire was the connections that I made with people who wanted to do similar things or wanted to help me with the things that I was already doing. So being able to find people who had resources like for video and audio production. I found that I had access to like this great production studio that had been built in Manchester. Like those were just opportunities that were not available where I was before. The, the School Sucks podcast and School Sucks project is really uh, so important to me, I think because of the experience that I had. And all of the faces that I saw, all of the kids that I used to, to deal with in school when I had to be basically the enforcer. I started to realize that there were all of these problems with how school worked and there was really no way to get that information out to the people that needed it the most. And even if I thought I was a good teacher and I was interesting, I taught history, uh, I, no one was there voluntarily. It, it was all coerced. So one of the things that made me so passionate about the show is I had always wanted to be a teacher. There were things about that that I always liked. I always liked the, the audience. But now everyone who comes to hear me is doing so completely voluntarily, which if you've ever spent any time as a classroom teacher, that's an amazing thing. And of course, the volume of people that you're able to reach. I mean, I find that what I can do in 24 hours after releasing some piece of content, a podcast or a video, I could reach as many people in a day as I could have in 15 years of teaching. And they all want to be there. My advice for somebody who's interested in the Free State Project and deciding whether or not they want to move is to come to one of the events. Uh, my favorite event is Porkfest, which is a week long. It's very open and you know, not very structured. And uh, there's more and more people every year I go. I think I've been there five years in a row. It was twice the size last year as it was the first year I attended. If people are interested in learning more, they can find me at schoolsucksproject.com. We do a podcast. We have a pretty lively uh, internet conversation forum. We have a, a YouTube channel, which is uh, School Sucks Podcast. The site is pretty searchable, so if anyone goes there with any kind of educational interests, be it history or communication skills or critical thinking skills or problems with school, uh, pretty much anything that they want as far as what is the problem with school or what alternative education can mean, they can find it at schoolsucksproject.com.